6th grade, Module 4, Lesson 31, Problem Set. Josiah sells three houses each month. To determine the number of houses she can sell in any given number of months, she uses the equation t equals 3 times m, where 3 is the total number of houses sold and m is the number of months. Name the independent and dependent variables, then create a table to show how many houses she sells in fewer than six months. Okay, so she sells three houses each month. So the number of houses that she sells each month is going to be dependent upon the number of months that she's selling houses. So let's say number of houses sold is dependent variable and number of and it's dependent on the number of months so we're going to have number of months or m and number of houses sold It says the number of houses sold is t. It says t is equal to 3m. So 3 times the number of months, and we want to know fewer than 6 months. So we're going to start it. So fewer than 6 will be 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So 1 month times 3 houses sold will be 3 houses. 2 months times 3 is 6, 3 months times 3 is 9, 4 months times 3 would be 12 houses, and 5 months times 3 is 15 houses. Number 2. Joshua spends 25 minutes of each day reading. Let D be the number of days that he reads, and let M represent the total number of minutes of reading. Determine which variable is independent and which is dependent, then write an equation that models the situation. Okay, so if he spends 25 minutes each day reading, so that is going to be the dependent variable because th then the number, total number of minutes that he spends reading is going to be dependent on the number of days that he reads. So number of days is the independent and minutes reading is dependent. Okay, so we're going to have number of days, that's D, and number of minutes, that is M. So make a table showing the number of minutes spent reading over seven days. So over a total of seven days. So one day, two days, three days, four days, five days, six days, seven days. Okay. So if he reads for one day, he reads 25 minutes a day. So we're one day times 25 would give us 25 minutes. 2 days times 25 will give us 50 minutes. 3 days times 25 is 75 minutes. 4 days times 75 would be, or not 75, times 25 would be 100. 5 times 25 is 125. 6 times 25 is 150. And 7 times 25 is 175. So what we did each time is we took the number of days and we multiplied it by 25. So 25D is equal to the total number of minutes. So 25 times the number of days is equal to the total number of minutes. Number three, each package of hot dog buns contains eight buns. Let P be equal to the number of packages of hot dog buns, and B be the total number of buns. 
determine which variable is independent and which is dependent, then write an equation that models the situation and make a table showing the number of hot dog buns in three to eight packages. Okay, so the number of total number of hot dog buns is going to be the dependent variable because it depends on the number of packages that someone were to buy. So the number of packages is independent and number of hot dog buns is dependent. So let's put them in here. A number of packages and they said that is they didn't tell us what to make it. I'm going to make it P. And this is total buns. I'm going to label that as B. We want to know 3 to 8. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, there's 8 buns in each package. So if we were to have 3 packages, we would take the number of packages and multiply it by 8. So we'd have 8 times the number of packages would give us the total number of buns. So 3 times 8 would give us 24 buns. 4, do the same thing times 8, would give us 32 buns. 5 times 8 is 40 buns. 6 times 8 is 48 buns. 7 times 8 would be 56 buns. And 8 times 8 is 64 hot dog buns. Number four. Emma was given five seashells. Each week she collected three more. Let W be the number of weeks Emma collected, collects seashells and S be the number of seashells, seashells she has total. Which variable is independent and which is dependent? Write an equation to model the relationship and make a table to show how many seashells she has from week four to 10. Okay, let's start with our independent and dependent variable. So the number of weeks is going to be the independent variable, and then the total number of seashells is going to be dependent because that depends on the number of weeks. So let's say number of weeks. <coughs> Sorry, that's my dog. Number of weeks is the independent variable. And the number of seashells is the dependent variable. So let's put number of weeks I'll call that W and then total seashells I'll call that S make a table to show how many she has from week 4 to 10. So we're going to start at 4 and go to 10. Okay, so now let's go back to, we've got our chart set up. We know she was given 5, so she starts out with 5, and each week she collects 3 more. So she starts out with 5, and then for every week she gets 3 more. So 3 times the number of weeks would be the total number of seashells. So if she starts out with five and then she gets four, so the first one, four, three times four would be equal to, so five plus 12 is 17. So if she did it for four weeks, she would have 17 seashells. If she did it for five weeks, you could plug it back into the equation or we just know it would be three more than the previous week. She would have 20. And so I'm just gonna keep going down and adding three. So your, your choice, you can either plug it into the equation and you'll get the correct answer, this equation, or you can just add three every time, since we're only going by one week. Okay, number five. Amelia is shopping for fresh produce at a farmer's market. She bought a watermelon for $5, and she also wants to buy peppers. 
Each pepper is 75 cents. Let T represent the total cost of the produce and N be the number of peppers bought. Determine each variable, determine which variable is independent and which is dependent, and write an equation that models the situation. Then make a table to show the cost for one to five peppers. Okay, so she bought a watermelon for five dollars and she wants to buy peppers. Each pepper is 75 cents. So, so the independent variable is going to be the number of peppers. So let's say number of peppers is dependent, or sorry, independent. And then the total cost is going to be dependent on the number of peppers. So we're going to have a number of peppers, P, and then total cost, I'll call that C. We want to know for one to five peppers. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we know that she buys a watermelon for $5. So she has that upfront cost of $5 and she wants to buy peppers. Each pepper is 75 cents. So plus 75 cents times the total number of peppers is gonna be equal to the cost. So if she buys one pepper, for example, that would just be five plus 75 cents times one, which would be 75 cents, which would be $5 and 75 cents. If she were to buy two, that would be another 75 cents. So I'm just gonna add 75 cents onto there. That would be 650. If she bought three, another 75 cents would be $7 and 25 cents. She bought four, another 75 cents would be $8. And if she bought five, she would pay 875. So let's just test our equation to make sure it works for five. So we'd have $5 plus 75 cents times five. So five plus 75 cents times five. It's 25, five times seven is 35 plus two would be 37, so 375 would be 875. Is that what we got? Yes. So it works if you plug it back into the equation. Okay, the last one, number six. A taxi cab service charges a flat fee of $7 plus an additional $1.25 per mile driven. Show the relationship between the total cost and the number of miles driven. Which variable is independent and which is dependent? Write an equation to model the relationship and make a table to show the cost of four to 10 miles. Okay, so the total number of miles is going to be the independent variable. Number of miles driven. And then the total cost is going to be dependent because it's dependent on however many miles you drive. So we have number of miles, M, and total cost, which I'll call C. So we want to know from four to 10 miles, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's work on an equation. So it it's a flat fee of seven dollars plus a dollar twenty-five per mile would give us the cost. So there's our equation. If we drove four miles, seven dollars plus a dollar twenty-five times four would be, let's see, a dollar twenty-five times four. That's 20, carry the two, that would be 10, carry the one. Four times one is four, plus one is five. Now remember there are two digits behind the decimal point, 
So I'm going to move my decimal over two places. Remember this from fifth grade? So that is five or five dollars. So seven plus five dollars would be twelve dollars. So it would be twelve dollars if they drove four miles. So if they drove five miles, I'm just going to add an additional dollar twenty-five. Or you can plug it back into the equation. Either way. That would be thirteen twenty-five. Plus another dollar twenty-five would be fourteen fifty. Fifteen seventy-five. Seventeen dollars. Eighteen twenty-five and nineteen fifty. And that is the end of the problem set.